my blood sugar goes up. Right. So, you know, the logic on that is, you know, okay, if I use fruit, there's sugar in that fruit. And I have high blood sugar, I have too much sugar in there. Um, when I, if I check my blood after I do the juice, my blood sugar went up. Right? All of that may be very, very true. All right? It may seem very logical to you, except for the fact that it actually doesn't work that way. All right. And what do I mean? Let me give you an example to try to make sense of what I'm talking about. Um, let's say we went out to the Catanian Bridge and I had a 10 pound ball and a 5 pound ball. And I was going to drop them off that bridge and see which one falls faster. Which one's going to fall faster? Hopefully everybody knows the answer to that question in the modern day, right? They're both going to fall at the same rate, right? But do people always know that? Is that something that you kind of, everybody throughout history logically just kind of knew that? Or was there a point in time where people thought that, hey, if you have a 10-pound ball and a 5-pound ball, that one should probably fall twice as fast because it's twice as big, right? It's twice as heavy. Until somebody actually went up and stood on top of the tower and they dropped some stuff and they measured and they found out that despite all the sensible logic that that one should fall twice as fast because it's twice as big and I can measure that and that's just how it should work, it didn't actually work that way, right? So in your body, while you may think that you're putting sugar in there when you're eating fruit, that's kind of the logical error there. Is, is That's not how it works. You're putting living, healthy things into the body which will only make you healthier, which will only help your blood sugar in the long term. Short term, hey, maybe your blood sugar goes up when you test it. I don't know. But if you translate that into saying somehow that's bad for you, there, there's, a, there's a natural law at play there that I just don't think you understand very well. Just like years ago, they didn't understand gravity well. Um, and you know, you can, you can fight it or you can keep going. Um, try and go with it, learn about it, and, and, and do it the right way. Um, I already talked about that there. So here, here, here's my picture for you. Those, there's not sugar. So if you think, when I eat that, that fruit there, that's got sugar in it. Too much sugar. That's not, that's not true. When whoever made that banana, did they take that sugar, did they, did they put sugar in that? No, there's, there's no, there's no sugar in the ingredients. Now you can say, well, if we take it down, you can find some sugar in there, some fructose or something, that might be right. Um, however, the point is, they're, they're not the same. There's no such, there's no sugar in the fruit. It's fruit. It's something that grows on the earth to nourish your body. So try and get that. If that's been beat into your head that you can't eat that fruit or whatever because of your blood sugar, it's just not true. Somebody who's telling you that does not really understand some fundamental law, biological law of nature that's at play. It may seem sensible. It may seem logical. We can all maybe think through that and start at point A and get to point C. But the foundation that argument or, or idea is based on is not really a sound one. So. Um, it's not sugar there, so don't, don't worry too much about that. Um, when you do the green juices, which I talked about, those are going to be lower sugar. So we'll start out with those. That way, if you still have that devil on your shoulder telling you that that sugar is bad for you, or that, that fruit's bad for you because of the sugar, um, we'll alleviate that and we'll get you with a low sugar green juice to start out with. And that way, you can get started even if you're still worried about that, right? 